Hi, my name is Dana. I want to welcome you to our channel, to our webpage, Closure for Jesus, and to our ministry. Um, I have decided through the years of my ministry in helping people with health care issues and spiritual issues, I had a lot of people ask me questions about different products that I use and how to do this and how to do that. We have a video on diatomaceous earth and the health benefits of, benefits of that. We have one on uh, charcoal and the health benefits of that. We have a lot of videos on our YouTube channel, but I've decided to make a few videos of things that I think would help people. And uh, I have a lot of people ask me about how to make certain items that I use. And I've had people that have wanted to buy from me lotion or soap and things like that. And so what I'd like to do today is just show you how to make homemade lotion. And I'm going to give you the recipe for that. And uh, I guess my recipes are kind of guessapies in a way because I, I sort of tweak them depending on what I want. But I'll give you the basic recipe of what I, what I use, the ingredients and everything. It makes a really nice lotion, but uh, you need to keep it in the refrigerator because it is food grade. It doesn't have any strong chemicals or preservatives. A lot of the stuff you buy from the stores you could use this tick repellent almost, it'll kill anything just about because it's very carcinogenic, it's got dyes in it and things that you really don't want to put on your body. And so what I want to show you today is a natural lotion. It, uh, you can make it any fragrance that you choose, you can make it however thick you, you desire, you can, as I said, you can tweak it and use different oils. Um, but this is a basic recipe that you can experiment with. and. Uh, if I can do this, anybody can, because uh, my family will, will tell you I, I didn't even hardly set foot into a kitchen until I was at least 19. I was sort of raised in my dad's hip pocket and uh, doing things out on the farm. And so, but I've had to, I've had to learn, and, and I want to assure you that if I can do this, you can too. Okay, I want to show you what ingredients I use in the soap my beeswax and my shea butter and, and a, a lot of my oils, even my coconut oil, I buy from Soper's Choice. They have really good products and really good price. You can find them online, soperschoice.com. And so I buy the beeswax pastilles. Um, they're white. You can see there what that is. And that's the only thing that I'm super precise on on the measurement because I like my lotion to be a little on the creamy side and you'll see in the recipe that it's going to cause, call for um, one half to one ounce of beeswax and I, 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 I'll be precise on that. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, fairly precise on the apricot oil, three-fourths cup. Shea butter, um, I also get that from Soper's Choice. I just put a little in a jar. It's easier to, to access. Um, not quite so precise on that. Grapefruit seed extract, um, I usually try to put about 15-20 drops, something like that. Vitamin E oil, I, I don't put a whole lot of that in there, maybe a half to one tablespoon. This, uh, the liquid lecithin, uh, I started using the sunflower liquid lecithin instead of soy because um, it's non-GMO and I really like the way this behaves in recipes. And I, in a future video, I want to show you how to make vegan butter that is absolutely out of this world. And uh, that's the key right there to getting everything to emulsify well. I also use aloe vera gel and then whatever um, essential oil or fragrance. I like lemongrass, so I'm going to use that today. So that's, that's the, the lineup of ingredients and uh, we'll get started. Okay, one ingredient I did for, fail to mention was distilled water. And the recipe that I use calls for two-thirds cup of distilled water. What I do when I'm making the lotion is I mix my waters and my oils separately. I combine them separately. And then you want to heat the oils just to the point that they're about to melt. And we'll show you how to do that in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and combine my, my uh, waters. I call them my waters, my distilled water aloe vera, the grapefruit seed extract I add to that, and also the fragrance. Okay, what I have so far in this pot is I have my coconut oil, the apricot oil, and by the way, you can substitute almond oil or um, you can use apricot oil or you can use, uh, what's the other one I, I've used before? Apricot, almond, and uh, 
I think I've used avocado oil in this as well. That, that behaves nicely too. The, uh, the beeswax you need to melt until all the little uh, groups of the, the beeswax are melted. But I want to show you a trick in using this lecithin. I don't have the lecithin in there yet. This is the, uh, the cup that I had. You can see a little bit more in there that I had the apricot oil in. After you use your apricot oil, if you will, um, and I, you will see, I don't, I'm not rocket science on this recipe. With the lecithin, if you pour the lecithin in on top of the, the oil, either the coconut oil or the avocado oil or apricot, whatever you choose to use, just pour that in, it will slide right out much better. And that's about a tablespoon and a half or so. See, it just slides out much, much easier. This stuff is super sticky. I mean, it's worse than axle grease. And so, if you do that, it, it's going to save you a lot of headache. It's really sticky, so. All right. The other oil I need to put in here is my vitamin E oil. And as I said, I don't really, I'm not so particular about how much I put in there. I just kind of guesstimate. This is sort of a recipe, sort of a guesspe. You can tweak it to your liking. You know, if you don't want to put the vitamin E, you don't have to. I just I use the substances that I do because I know that they're very good for your skin. I know that a lot of the products sold in stores today have dyes and toxins that cause cancer and all kind of creepy diseases. So, at any rate, that's about a half a tablespoon. And that's probably about what I typically use. And uh, vitamin E oil is a little bit on the expensive side, so I'm a little stingy with that one. Now, the only other thing that we have to add to this is our shea butter. Now, remember I put the shea butter in a small jar so I could access it a little easier. I kind of like it. You could actually use shea butter as a, as a standalone lotion. I mean, the stuff's wonderful. So you can see that's probably about a tablespoon and a half. You can put more or less to your liking. Um, I kind of like it, so I try to put at least a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of shea butter. Now, once I have all of the oils combined, then uh, I had pre-melted my coconut oil, um, so that it's still it's a little bit warm from that. But I'm just going to stir it all together, and I'm going to put it on my back burner here for a little bit, and let that uh, warm up so that everything can melt and combine together. While I'm doing that, I'm going to combine my water ingredients. Okay, the water ingredients, of course, are the distilled water, two-thirds of a cup, the grapefruit seed extract, whatever essential oil, which you could add that with the oils, but I typically just put it in with the waters, and then aloe vera gel. And the aloe vera gel, the recipe calls for one-third cup, so we'll just add that here, one-third. And this is, this is the kind that I use, the lily of the desert. I've had good success with this. I like it. The grapefruit seed extract, again, it's not rocket science. It's really not easy to squeeze the little drops out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But you want to get um, at least 12 drops, but I try to aim for 15 to 20 drops. And that, again, acts as a preservative. Now, this grapefruit seed extract, if you take a little of this and put it in a little glass of water and drink it down when you're coming down with the flu or a cold or something, it really is a powerful immune stimulant. It's a uh, grapefruit seed extract is antifungal, antibiotic, uh, antiviral as well, and antifungal. So you can, you can really use this in a lot of ways. Um, and as I said, maybe we can do a separate video on that sometime. Okay. The, uh, the fragrance, again, I'm going to use the lemongrass. Whatever kind you like. You know, I have made citrus. I've made peppermint. Peppermint lotion makes a really nice um, lotion for around the holidays. Um, so I just, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 drops. Depending on the... Uh, essential oil, the fragrance oil that you use and the strength of it. You may have to use more, you may have to use less. The one that I use, I have to use quite a bit. I like it to have a nice fragrance. 
Okay, all of our oils are uh, melted together, so now I'm going to just pour the, the oil mixture into my blender, and I'm going to let it cool a little bit. When it gets to the, to the uh, temperature that it should be, then uh, I'll come back and I'll show you what needs to happen before you start adding the waters to okay, the Okay, now oils. we've got the process down to two containers. Right here we've got the, the oils in this container. Now I just started using the, uh, the lecithin that I showed you uh, a few minutes ago and it does turn it a darker color so I'm not sure exactly what color this is going to come out. I used to use the lecithin granules, the soy granules. But as I said, I just recently started using the sunflower lecithin and I really like it. And it's, uh, as I said, I will show you in a future video how to make vegan butter that has a lot of the same ingredients in the lotion that we're making, but boy, is it good. Um, okay, so we're going to let this cool a little bit, and then I have my, of course, my, my waters in the, the um, pitcher here. Now, once it, it starts to cool, uh, just around the edges, you'll see as it cools, the, the uh, beeswax will begin to, to kind of adhere to the outside just a little bit. The purpose of the beeswax, that's where you get your consistency from. As I said earlier, I, I kind of am a little bit picky about how much of the beeswax I put in because I like a lotion that's more creamy, more like a cream than a lotion. And so if you want uh, a thinner lotion, add less beeswax. If you want a thicker lotion, of course, you would add a little bit more. And you probably could add even, even more than, a, um, than an ounce uh, if you want... Um, just a really thick cream that would uh, maybe like for cracked fingers if your thumbs crack around the edge in the winter like mine do sometimes. The more beeswax you add, the thicker it's going to be. That's the point of it. Okay, so we'll let this cool a little bit and then we'll come down, come back. And uh, when I, I'm going to tell you now what I'm going to do. Once this cools enough that I can begin to add the waters, um, I'm, I'll turn the blender on high and get a good vortex in the center going and then I will slowly add the waters and I'll have to help it with the uh, spatula because it's going to turn thick right now really fast and so um, I'll tell you now what I'm doing because if the blender makes a lot of racket and you won't be able to hear me so that's what's going to happen at the next step. This is what happens to your spatula if you get too close to the blades in the blender. It's nowhere near as long as it was when I bought it. I trimmed it down because it had little cuts all in it. So be careful as you, as you help. The, you have to kind of put the uh, spatula in and help. I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you with the camera. But at any rate, our uh, oil mixture has begun to cool a little bit. Can you see how it's beginning to turn a little white as it works its way up? That should be cool enough. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I'll put this on the blender. Put it on high, start a vortex in the center, and then I'll slowly add the liquid, uh, the waters in. Another essential ingredient. Okay, and there it is. That's the finished product right there. Now as it cools, it will thicken. Okay, so here's our finished product here. And uh, I actually made this for my friend Kathy. And uh, this is my going out of business video because I'm giving you the recipe and I'm giving you the uh, instructions on how to make it. And so now you don't have to be stuck with uh, department store lotion anymore. Cleanup can be a challenge. You got to clean all this stuff out of the blender. So be sure invite all your friends with uh, dry skin over and uh, put the leftovers on their arms and hands and face and uh, have a lot of Dawn dish detergent on hand because you'll need it. Made bread earlier. Would y'all like to know how to make that too? Let me know in the comments.